It's um, December 1968. Okay, okay. All right. Um, okay, what did you do at Fort Orr? What were your assignments? Um, I was a uh, company commander of, of a uh, basic training uh, company. I, I had absolutely tremendous non-commissioned officers. Uh, all of them were, well, well, most of them were Vietnam veterans. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them were, were also Korean War veterans. Mm -hmm. And uh, w with this uh, great complement of good leaders, um, I, I uh, took uh, more awards than, than any uh, company uh, in, at Fort Ord mm -hmm. uh, in the uh, in the training uh, competitions, mm -hmm. uh, marksmanship, uh, physical training, uh, individual uh, proficiency of uh, soldier skills. Uh, a after um, after being a company commander, uh, I was recognized for for the accomplishments mm -hmm. in. I, I was, uh, my, my brigade commander made me uh, assistant operations officer mm -hmm. for the brigade. Mm -hmm. And uh, two months after that, I was uh, selected by the commanding general to be the, uh, to be his aide. Mm -hmm. So I was the uh, uh, aide de camp to the commanding general of Fort Ord. That was my last assignment. Okay. And that would have been what, a three-star general? Uh, it was a two-star two general. Okay. He was in, uh, his name was uh, Major General Philip uh, B. Uh, Davidson. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a, a published author, uh, the the most respected author of the uh, Vietnam War. Okay. He was uh, in charge of intelligence uh, one year under uh, Westmoreland, General Westmoreland, and one year under General uh, Abrams. Okay. So, um, that. Uh, being a company commander, that was your first first time being a company commander. It was okay. And how did how did what was how did that feel? You, obviously, you had been in training, so obviously that was your uh, forte, so to speak, from what I understand. But how did it feel to become a company commander? And how long were you a company commander? I was company commander uh, for a year. Okay. Uh, it it was uh, uh, a, a challenging, mm -hmm. uh, but I had uh, the foundation. Uh, to uh, understand uh, how to lead mm -hmm. uh, the, the non-commissioned officers and officers that I had mm -hmm. uh, in that uh, in that training mission, um, it, it was it, it was very uh, very exhilarating, mm -hmm. uh, accomplishing mm -hmm. um, the the uh, the competitiveness uh, mm -hmm. that that we were doing uh, w with our with our uh, results. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, now, when you became aide, uh, what was that like? I, I'm assuming that's a kind of plum job, a so-called plum job, or a sought-after job, or what, what was that? Oh yes. Um, well, there there were um, uh, we 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 had uh, thirty thousand soldiers uh, at um, at Fort Ord, uh, California. Mm -hmm. Um, normally, uh, uh, aide de camp uh, is um, uh, the the captain that would get that would normally uh, have been a, uh, a graduate of uh, West Point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> my my um, uh, background was uh, uh, unusual, uh, having uh, gone through the ranks. And, and having obtained my commission from OCS, mm -hmm. uh, it was very demanding uh, because I, I I had to maintain the uh, general's uh, schedule. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I had to uh, make sure that uh, people that that he needed to see were 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 seen by the general. I, I made all the appointments. Mm -hmm. I also provided. Um, <clears throat> All, all the coordination for his uh, his golf uh, efforts. Mm -hmm. I I, uh, I I did the uh, arrangements uh, of the uh, foursomes. Mm -hmm. He was quite a uh, quite a uh, accomplished uh, golfer. Okay. Yeah, he golfed uh, uh, almost every day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, he he would do a minimum of of, of nine holes. Uh, mm -hmm. He would do that during his lunch hour. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and and on, on Wednesday he would do um, uh, 18 holes, mm 